What is experiment tracking? So guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about experiment tracking. That is one of the important component of MLOX. So let's start. The experiment tracking is nothing but the process of storing and maintaining experiments and their components. For example, input data and their parameters. Different matrices, for example, accuracy, precision, recall, RMAC, R square or various matrices. Then models. Then it could be other artifacts file. When I say file, it could be uh, images or any other data file. Okay. So images, uh, it could be like confusion matrix, it could be ROC, AUC curve, different plots uh, which are very useful in your machine learning modeling. Those we want to record. Okay. So that whole process is known as, th those whole recording process is known as experiment tracking. Okay. So this is experiment tracking. But in experiment tracking, we have experiment. So what is experiment? Let's understand what is experiment. And then we'll also understand the need of experiment tracking. Okay. So what is experiment? So when we say experiment, so experiment is like uh, kind of doing a trial in your machine learning uh, modeling phase. So for example, uh, we have an input, we have an output, okay, and they are tightly associated with each other. And now you as you start changing anything in that input, then of course your output will get changed, right? Because this is directly related to your input. And now comes to machine learning modeling. You have input data set and that contains set of variables. Okay, and now you keep on systematically varying a uh, different different variable, different different feature, then it will direct impact your target variable. Okay, so that's where for with respect to each with respect to each change, and that each change when I say it could be with your, with respect to your input variables, it could be a change in uh, hyperparameters, or it could be any other change with respect to the data, right? So for, with respect to each change, we get different output data, okay? And that is known as experiment. So in, in that uh, process, with respect to each change, we create a different, different experiments, okay? So that's because see, in machine learning modeling phase, nothing is fixed. We need to do different experiment. We need to change different, different parameters in input variables, and then we record our model output and then see okay which one experiment is giving us optimal performance and that uh, somehow we finalize right so this is all about experiment now we understood what is experiment tracking and from that we understood what is experiment now let's understand what is the need of experiment tracking okay so suppose we have uh, recorded multiple experiment okay and uh, in future uh, one of the experiment is not working then what you will do you need to uh, replace that uh, experiment with the previous working experiment and what if you have not tracked or you have not recorded that experiment right then you you will not be able to reproduce that one right so that's where uh, experiment tracking is very very important and it also helps you to compare different versions of models performance and finally you will be able to take a decision with respect to like which particular experiment is working or giving you the optimal accuracy optimal performance for that model then you finalize that one and take that ahead and deploy further if everything if rest of the thing is fine okay so that's it that's about experiment tracking and why we need that one okay and of course with respect to experiment tracking there are uh, and we talk about reproducibility so there are different things which are also needed for example data versioning without data versioning you cannot reproduce that experiment right so that's where in my previous video i have already talked about data versioning so you can refer that video and understand what is data versioning and why we need that one okay in this i am focusing the experiment tracking so till now we talked about what is experiment tracking what is experiment and why we need experiment tracking but then next question will uh, come like uh, how to do experiment tracking right so for uh, like um, doing experiment tracking there are various tools available in the market so one of the very most widely used tool is mlflow so guys to do experiment tracking with the help of mlflow i have created a detailed one hour video explaining step by step approach and explaining the each and every line of code uh, like uh, how to do experiment tracking using MLflow. So there I have uh, trained a uh, basic classifier and recorded that experiment, then uh, changed some input parameter and uh, changed some hyperparameter values and then recorded the experiment. And then I have done the comparison. So if you have not watched that video and you are interested in uh, knowing like how experiment tracking done with the help of MLflow, then um, I have uh, given the link of that video in my description. So please go and watch. So that will be really helpful for you if you are new to the uh, uh, experiment tracking. 
okay so that's it for today's video i hope you uh, liked my video and um, thank you for watching so also please don't forget to like subscribe and share with the uh, with your colleagues and ml community